Hey, Dex Guides here with another achievement guide on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This is the Swimming with the Fishes achievement worth 15G. So what you want to do if you get this achievement is the In the Voyage of Despair map, kill 50 zombies that are underwater in a single game. So what that means for you is when you first want to start the map, you want to get to the other side as quickly as you can so you can activate the artifact. Then you want to go all the way back to spawn and you can use the quick portal if you want or you can run all the way back obviously and head downstairs into the cargo hold which is in the location you've just seen me get to. Now basically all you're going to want to do now is just chill in this area. You want to get kind of two half decent weapons. So I had an assault rifle and I also had um, a grenade launcher. Uh, an RPG style gun, obviously an up to date RPG style gun, but you want to get a someone assault rifle from anywhere. Obviously, in this cargo hold area, you can drain the water on the right hand side of the pack of punch. There's a little valve that you want to you can spin, but obviously, make sure 100% you do not activate that valve because obviously, to get this achievement, you need to get the kills all from underground. Like I said, you want to try and get here as soon as possible. The sooner you get there, the sooner, like, the weaker the zombies are going to be. So it's going to be a lot easier to get the achievement. There will also be less zombies per round. Obviously, that means it's going to take slightly longer, but it's a little bit easier for you to survive. So the way the water works is the most bizarre water physics you could ever think of. Because you can just swim around and shoot the gun normally. You can move around freely. And obviously, you still have a boost sprint as well. You do only have a limited time in the water, but unfortunately it's not like, it, fortunately should I say, it's not an insta kill. So if you start flashing red, there's a little bit of a gasping of air that you can get from above that pack a punch button. You can pop your head up there for literally a second, that regenerates your air and you can stay down there again. So it's just a case of surviving for as long as it takes to get that achievement to pop up. But it's really early. As you saw there, that was what I was talking about before. The screen started popping red. You quickly pop your head up back up there. And you're going to survive. So just keep shooting at the zombies. Keep taking them out. Eventually, the achievement will pop at the bottom. So you don't obviously don't have to keep track. You can try and keep track in your head if you want. But you don't need to. And it'll take you approximately three rounds. Obviously, if you go in later, it could be as simple as even just taking one round. But... For me, it took about approximately three rounds, so there's a lot of waiting around, but you're going to get it in the end. Just keep shooting, and you get there. So I think it's at the end of this particular round when the achievement pops. I'll skip to the last kill now, and you can see the achievement popping at the bottom there. So I hope this guide helped out. If it did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!